Out of many methods of creating a roof in Revit, in this episode, today we are going to talk about roof by footprint method. This method is typically used for creating roofs with slopes. So let's get started. I'm going to work in this project where I already have created a few walls. I have a few walls from level 1 to level 2 and level 2 to roof level. So roof level is the level on which I would like to create my roof. So I'm going into my roof level floor plan and going into architecture and under roof choosing the roof by footprint method. This method roof by footprint is called roof by footprint because it, this is typically created in a plan view just like a real footprint on the ground. So let's select this method. From this draw panel I have an option of choosing my boundary shapes but I'm going to select my pick walls option because I already have a few walls in my project. Let's choose an overhang of one meter and extend to wall core because I would like to choose one meter from the structural core of my walls. Let's choose them. I'm going to flip these lines and trim the corners. Make sure whenever you're working in a pink line mode, there are no overlaps, no intersection, and there is one continuous closed loop in your sketch. In each of these lines that you see, there is a slope symbol here. This slope symbol indicates a slope degree of your edge. So for example, this line is 30 degrees sloping in this direction. Each of these lines are currently set to 30 degrees by default. This value can be updated from the properties palette. I'm going to finish this first. I have a sloping roof that is sloping at 30 degrees. When I select my roof and change its slope value to let's say 20 degrees, all the edges are going to get updated to slope at 20 degrees. Currently this roof is of 400 millimeter thick generic roof. You can always come back to this, edit type, duplicate and create a new type. Let's say I want to create a um, concrete roof of 150 millimeters. I'm going to say okay edit my structure, change the thickness to 0.15 meters and change the material to concrete. If you would like to add more layers to your roof, you can always come back and do this. Change the function, change the material, change the thickness, make it above the core boundary or below the core boundary as per your requirement. This is very much similar to what we did for multi-layered wall. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll give you the link in the description box. For now, we are going to stick with a single layer roof. I'm going to say OK to this, OK to this. So now my roof is 150 millimeters thick concrete material. Let's go back to the roof level and I'm going to edit my footprint. So I can always come back to my roof, edit it to make changes. Let's say I'm going to select this particular line and instead of having a similar slope of 20 degrees on all side, I'm going to choose this, this line and change it to 45 degrees. Let's see what happens. Only one of this edge is sloping at 45. The rest of them is sloping at 20 degrees. So you can also change the slopes individually to each of these edges. You can also choose not to have a slope. So for example, I'm going to select this line and remove this defined slope option. You can also do the same from the properties palette. I'm going to finish this and see what happens. Now that edge is not sloping anymore. Let's go back to edit footprint. I'm going to remove the define slope option from the properties and finish my footprint roof. You can see here that now the slope has been removed from this edge too. Let's talk about the wall that is underneath this wall. Let's select this wall and attach its top to the roof. By attaching the wall, Revit also changes the profile of the wall so that it matches the roof. So for example, when I change the roof's height from the base offset from level, for example, one meter above roof level, you will see that the wall has also moved with it. You can also do the same for the columns. For example, I select this column and choose attach the top to the roof. Let me isolate this element. To see it clearly. For the columns we have some additional options. 
When you select this column, attachment justification is currently set to maximum intersection. So maximum surface of the top column is attached with the roof. But you can change this depending on the construction methodology that you're using in your project. You can choose whether you would like to intersect column midline. So now it's attached only to the mid of the column. Or you can choose to have a minimum intersection. So it's only touching the roof. Let's reset our view. Let's go back to our roof level. Select our roof and edit the footprint. For example, I would like to make changes to my boundary. I can always come back to it. Let's say I do not want slope anymore. And I can make changes to the boundary of my slope. So let's trim this up. Let's trim this up. Now this part of the roof is going to be removed. Let's finish that and have a look what happened. You can also come back to your roof. Create a closed boundary within a closed boundary. This is going to create a void. Use roof by footprint approach when you would like to create a sloping roof in a plan view. If you would like to create a more complex roof, maybe something like this, then follow my next episode where we are going to talk about roof by extrusion approach. Please subscribe, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next.